This is JJ, aka the You Googleizer, here bringing you some Battlefield 3 back to Karkand DLC expansion pack action. Guys, what is up? Man, I gotta tell you, I've been pretty excited about this, and I actually forgot this was actually DLC today. So I got home, immediately downloaded it, and then, you know, I wanna bring you some guys some gameplay. So enjoy the background, running around with the AEK, uh, you know, got some infrared. IRS infrared scope acts for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. I've just been running. I got a couple of clips for you guys. Hope you like the background. I kind of just want to go over just some of the different things in this game. First of all, let's talk about some of the weapons, okay? So uh, with this DLC, oh yeah, also if you pre-ordered this, this is free DLC for you. If not, if you did not pre-order this game, this is going to be $15 out of your pocket. So uh, if you pre-ordered it, awesome. If not, it, I mean, either way, it's worth it. So Okay, right, let's jump right into the weapons, guys. So, first of all, we got the MP5. Obviously, this is a submachine gun. Uh, great for uh, close quarter action. This will be available for all classes. Uh, next, we got the PP19. It's another submachine gun. Also awesome for, you know, that close range, close range action. Oh, I can't even talk right now. Close range action. And, uh, I mean, all this and all this stuff is exclusive just for the Back to Karkin expansion pack. Uh, then we got the L85A2. Right, that's a long way to say that. Yeah, the, so we got the L85A2 assault rifle, um, also known as the SA80, uh, just for you know other people that uh, you know know guns really well. It's, you know this is a British gun. Uh, then we also got the FAMAS to bring in that. You know, so uh, everybody knows what the FAMAS is, guys. Come on. We also got the QBU-88 or the Type 88. Uh, well, I'm sure a lot of people call this the Type 88. This is a sniper rifle. Um, for those headshots, for people that are like sniping like my guy Devastator. We also got the L96A1 sniper rifle back. We got the jackhammer, which was actually in uh, Battlefield 2, if I'm not correct. If I am not correct, you can correct me. Maybe the L96 is what I'm thinking was in Battlefield 2. Yes, it was in Battlefield 2, and the jackhammer is uh, making an appearance in this game. It's a full automatic. This is actually a gas-operated shotgun, so... Uh, I cannot wait to use that because I am a massive fan of shotguns. So that's the jackhammer. We also got the MG36, which is a light machine gun. We got the Type 95 light machine gun. And then we also got the Type 97 carbine rifle. So uh, that's just uh, some little, a little, a couple different things, you know, that I can give you guys, you know, just some of the weapons that you get to see in the game. But the, here's the catch. In order to unlock these weapons, you have to unlock them by doing these different assignments. And that's something also just for this expansion pack, the Back to Karkin expansion pack. Each assignment, you know, must be completed in order to unlock these different weapons. And then uh, here's the here's the different, I'm gonna go ahead and read off the assignments. So when you uh, complete the assignment for Best Friend Forever, you unlock the FAMAS. There's an assignment called Fixing It. You unlock the MP5. If you, uh, uh, the next assignments, Let It Rain. You unlock the QBB95. Uh, spec Ops, you unlock the QBU88. Uh, familiar Territory, you unlock the PP19. Professional Russian, you unlock the L85. It Goes Boom, you unlock the Type 97. Keep Your Head Down, you got the MG36. Creeping Death, you unlock the L96. And Scarred Veteran, you unlock the Jackhammer. I'm guessing you have to use uh, specific weapons for each of these. That's just like a complete guess. I, I, I have seen the assignments pop up when I did play tonight. Uh, I will get back to you on about that. I mean, like I said, this is, I just want to bring you guys some kind of gameplay so you can kind of see what the new map packs look like. The map you see in the background right now is Strike at Karkand. Uh, this is uh, basically a map with no open areas. It's really, really close quarter to action. You're on the you're on the streets of the city. Uh, there's one tank, and basically it's just it's just kind of mayhem. I, I, this is the map that you see right here in the background. As you can, I mean, as you can see when you when you run through the map, there's really hardly no open areas. It's, gonna, it's really easy to flank on this map. I really like it a lot. I haven't actually got to play on these other maps, but I did do a little review for you guys. I did I look up, you know, got a little info, so I'm gonna explain what the other maps do as well. I mean, what they kind of uh, look like. So you got Wake Island. Yes, guys, Wake Island. Welcome back to the old school classic Battlefield map. Yes, yeah, so uh, for most of you Battlefield fans know, 
this was an old school map. They're bringing it back. You know, it's basically like a Russian stronghold. Uh, there's there, and both sides have several jets, helicopters at their disposal. So you know, it's a pretty awesome map. Next one is Gulf of Oman. A uh, very very unique map. Lots of uh, you know, it's a really large map. Lots of capture points. Uh, lots of flanking points on this map, from what I understand. And uh, you know, it has it has a little bit of everything. It, you know, there's uh, there's some close quarters action. There's some open battlegrounds. Uh, good for jets. You know, good for tanks. So basically, that's what Gulf of Oman is. And then you got the Sharky Peninsula. I hope I said that right. And I probably just butchered the name of it, but it'll be all right. And basically, this map is uh, really, really good for defense, from what I've read. So uh, I, mean, I, I really can't. I don't really don't know. I don't know much about this map to tell you the truth. So hopefully, I can get some gameplay, show you, show you some Sharky Peninsula. Because when I think of Sharkies, I think of actual sharks trying to get you. Yes, that's what I think. And there's also one other thing I want to talk to you guys about. This is there's a new mode called Conquest Assault. Yes. So basically, it's a combination of Conquest and uh, Rush, basically. So what there's a, there's gonna be it's Conquest mode with one team of attackers and one team of defenders. I could not get any. I could not find a match or anything with it. So hopefully, you know, soon enough. After, you know, maybe after playing more than, you know, a couple of hours, I can actually get you guys some gameplay. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment below if you have any questions. Hopefully, I can answer them. And I, I will see you guys later.